December 16th, 7.45 p.m. Wednesday, and I am going to do an Amazon video about all the products that I've bought from Amazon this year. First on my Amazon review purchases in 2020 is going to be, this is actually a recommendation from Vassar Beauty, her channel. She recommended getting a scrubber brush for your dishes instead of a sponge because these sponges attract way more bacteria than a brush and this is made out of bamboo so that's nice for the earth and the ecosystem and it comes with this fancy little tray and you put soap in the bottom with a little water and it has a spring it's spring loaded and then you when you need the soap you press down make suds i really don't really use it like that i kind of just add the soap to my dish and then scrub and then I rinse this off shake it off and then I just set it here to dry but I hate sponges my best friend growing up oh my gosh she always used to leave the sponge in the bottom of the sink and it used to stink to high heaven so absolutely recommend this I believe it was ten dollars I'll leave the link down below so up next on my Amazon review haul in 2020 um, we got this house in the middle of the pandemic, uh, we had it built and it really needed a pop of color because I like to stick with the black and white theme in my house. I did a house tour if you want to see the decor and how everything looks, but I like the black and white farmhouse industrial style. That's my style. So I like the wire basket and I needed a pop of color. So I bought some fake lemons and these were about 10, 10 bucks on Amazon. And I will also link these below. I believe it came with 12. Two, four, <laughs> ten, twelve. Yeah, twelve lemons for ten bucks. Not bad. Nice pop of color. Next up on my list is going to be these cups. They are from Go Bottle, is the brand. I got them from Amazon. I got two, a set of two for 35, and it did come with another lid, but I was using this one for dinner tonight. And I use these every time I make a drink, and so does my boyfriend. So I really like this brand and the reason why I went with this brand was because I bought this one Which is a tumbler a wine tumbler a smaller one for my coffee at Walmart and I love the brand so much I searched up the brand on Amazon and I ordered these two and then I ordered this one from Walmart, which is the same brand I believe if not no it's not the same brand but i ordered it in white to match yeah it's not the same brand but i really like these insulated cups and i will link those below as well so next up on my list is going to be these handles i got from amazon i got a 10 pack for 30 dollars and it came with everything you need it comes with a set of larger screws and smaller screws for your handles that need to go through the whole drawer these are really nice the way they feel it's a matte black they are really strong finish there's no chipping at all i actually have a really big cockatoo bird and he flew one time all the way over here and literally landed on this with his beak and there's no damage at all there's no dent there's no scratch no chips like this is a solid solid no chips no scuffs like you can't even scratch them up it's a really good handle i love it and they have different sizes so i will also link that below so this is next on my list my cat loves these toys they're really light cotton balls with these tinsel tinsel tins hanging out so they're really light and fluffy like super light and fluffy and they like to paw them around i got a huge pack for $4.99 from Amazon and I will link them below but my cat any cat will love them they're all under my couch I have them a lot stashed away so when she loses them I gave some to my mom's cat he literally ate into the bag ate a hole into the bag to start playing with them so I'm telling you like this is it these are cheap you can find these actually at the craft store but Amazon's way better because these are the perfect size next on my Amazon haul is gonna be this doorknob I got two of these doorknobs and I replaced our master bedroom and our pantry door because I wanted to test these out. There was some reviews saying that they break off, but these are solid. I love these handles. They work really well. It's a pin lock, so that's how you lock it with the pin. Um, it's a bronze, I believe it's a bronze 
like a brushed bronze. I'll have to look at the color, but I will link them below. But these are beautiful. In the sun, they create this really pretty casting gleaming shadow. I actually have a video during the day when I took it, so I will insert that so you can see. But I got a two pack for $60. And I know that sounds like a lot, but these are like professional. They're very well made. I love it. And I've never had a problem with the crystal coming loose at all. Like, you're not supposed to like grab the crystal and twist it. You grab the whole handle and twist it. So I love this. I'm actually gonna buy more for <laughs> all the doors. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention about these. I did buy a cabinet kit on temp like a template on where to mark the holes and i drilled these myself i have a video on my channel it's actually a vlog you can see me in the thumbnail doing the handles and how i installed them but it comes on amazon it gives you like a little template that you put up against and you mark the holes and every time they give you one for the cabinets and one for the drawers as well so and that was eight we'll round up and say nine bucks on amazon this is my next purchase from Amazon that I made for my cat when we moved in. I made it pretty quickly and it is just a cat fountain and I had to teach my dog and cat how to drink out of this. It was a little tricky at first but then I just had the idea to put one of those temptation treats right here on the edge. Literally just set the treat on the edge and the dog and cat will like, oh, let me try to get it. And then it falls in the water and they still try to get it. And then they figure out that it's a water. So that's how I got them to drink out of it. At first, my dog was scared of it. So it takes time. Just practice with the treats around the rim. And if the treat falls in, it's fine. Let them fish for it. You know, that's how they figure out it's a water bowl. But it's awesome. It comes apart. There's a little pump and there is a blue LED light. And that's why I'm recording this late at night so I can show you when the lights are off. Let me turn the lights off. And that is how it looks at night. There's the Christmas tree. So it is a nice blue LED light and that's the only color it changes. And what's nice about this one is that it has a stainless steel top. Most of the other ones are plastic, but it gets a little slimy, but you just rinse it out once a week, give them fresh water and you're good to go. Fill it up. It actually has also a little level. So you can see where the water line is, but I love this. It was $27. I will link it below. Next up is this cat stand. It was a cat scratcher and I had super glued these little caps. The little caps were on the ends of these metal pieces. So I had super glued them in thinking, oh, I don't want it to come apart because obviously it has to come apart for shipping. But then the metal came out of here. So now I'm going to super glue this part into here and we should we should be good to go. But this is a really good product. I mean, yes, it comes out, but a little super glue won't hurt. My cat uses it. I put it by here because when she's waiting for someone to get up to get to the food bowl, she just sits here and rubs all over it. So it's a really nice brush. It comes with a little toy. It's not too tall. So it's about the height of my electric cord or electric panel right there. So if you can see, it's really not that tall. I'd say about two feet, but she loves it. She does get up there sometimes and just looks around. And this was $28. Next up we have on the Amazon list is this squeegee from Amazon. Oh my gosh, this matte, that is the brand name. This is an awesome scraper. There's no metal to it at all. It's like a windshield wiper tip. And also this part is the same. Very nice, hangs over the glass door. Um, let me see if it would fit. Yeah, no, this is made for like the glass door, so it hangs on the glass shower like that. And then you just shut it like that. There's no problem. There's space in between. And then you just hang it up like that. But it's an awesome shower scraper. It works really well. I have a video of me cleaning my shower if you'd like to see it in action. And this was $16. All right, so next up on the Amazon list is gonna be these toilet lights. There is the brand. They are motion sensor toilet changing lights. So in the night, you can see where you are pointing for the boys if you have trouble, but let's see it in action. Toilet bowl light, really cool. It's just a light that hangs over really cool light but it changes the toilet 
and you can actually set it to different modes. But it has a really good motion sense on it. It will spot you from far away. And this was $16 as well for a two pack. So I got two. One's on the other toilet. So I love it. Next is actually this digital clock. It's really cool. It looks like a invisible hanging clock. And it has a little remote and it plugs into the wall using this very thin wire but I have it going along the wall so you can't really see it but my mom gave me a compliment on this light and it was $40 and I will have the link down below and that's how it would glow in the night if the lights were off on the wall alright so next on my list from Amazon is these two little mini jars with the mini spoons that come in them this one's for brown sugar and this one's regular sugar and I these are next to my coffee station which I will be moving I need to set up a, a separate coffee station right here so I can have this whole area free because sometimes it gets a little jumbled but these were two for twenty dollars and I love them they are really kind of small but that's fine I don't need anything big sitting on my counter so I like how simple easy to use they are Next on my Amazon purchase list is this wall basket and it has hooks to hang your keys. This is right next to my garage door so when I'm exiting I can grab my little purse and my keys and also it's a mail slot. We don't put our mail in there but this is my water system checker but this was really easy to install. There's no nails you just kind of like like press it to the wall and then you slide it in but it has really fine almost like tack like little bars that you press into the wall so when you remove it it's not like a lot of damage not a big hole it's like tiny little holes so that's really nice. There is a little paint hand impression from when they were building it but that's fine I could fix that myself but I really like it it was cute it was $20. Also, everything will be linked below. Okay, so next on the list is this remote holder for your console table. And it has the little feet pad so you can slide it around. But I really like this because you could put it on like a round tray or whatever. But I have a lot of stuff in here actually like sunglasses, ibuprofen, a pen, Flonays. There's some clippers down there, the remotes. LED light remotes, eye drops, chapstick, and then some other remotes at the bottom. But I love this thing. It was $18. It really matches the furniture we have with the white kind of distress on the furniture, farmhouse. So I really like this for a good 20 bucks. Not bad. Really cute. About the size of my hand. So not bad. Next on my list is going to be the seat covers from Amazon. I got a set of four for 26 bucks, and they are really nice. They fit a wide seat. This is a pretty wide seat. I measured to make sure, but they have a little Velcro. I mean, not a Velcro, but a little belt buckle in the back. And then you can like tuck this and pull it tight. Now, it doesn't always stay like that, but hard with one hand. But once you get it, there we go. So once it's all tucked, it looks really nice and you really can't tell. And I got four for 20, we'll say 27 bucks to round up. So they're all on the chairs. There's that one and that one. And this has saved my chairs from my cat's claws accidentally piercing them or she's messing around. One time she threw up her treats on there and it was red and I was just panicking. But Resolve saved the day. So these are really good to invest in for your furniture. All right, this next one is really cool. This is called a, I believe it's called a sundial, or you can call it a sun catcher, like a dream catcher, but it catches the sun. And this is on my back door, so the sun hits this door in the, early in the morning, and it creates a beautiful casting rainbow around the room. And I really love this thing. I'm sad that I don't have like a video of it, but in one of my videos, I will capture this so you can see but you can look it up online. They have plenty of them that show like how it looks, but it really does brighten up the room and make rainbows on the floor, on the walls, and you can move it wherever you want. But this is 20 bucks and it's really well made. So definitely worth it to give you a smile. So next up is this clean and dirty magnet I got. Uh-oh, that's not good. 
Okay, I got that little rough spot off. That was scary, but a little water must have got under it. But this is a clean and dirty magnet, and this was $7. This is not needed, but, you know, it's cute to have. I really like this, and it's made really well, and the seller was really nice, so I'll have that link down below. All right, and the last thing on my Amazon list is going to be this no soliciting sticker, which is actually just the black sticker. You're supposed to just take the sticker out with the shape, but I actually like the border with it. And it just says, please, no handbills, no flyers, no solicitors, do not knock or ring the doorbell unless we are friends, family, or neighbors. Thank you. And also, I didn't want to stick the sticker onto my, my door. This is a hurricane door, I believe, from Lowe's. So I bought this like little taxi lift thing that you just suction cup onto the door and then I stuck the sticker onto there. So I got that from Amazon and that was 12 bucks for the frame, the clear frame. It's really cold outside. Whew. So you guys, I'm going to wrap up Vlogmas. It is 8.32 now and I'm going to start editing this and get this up for my Amazon hauls for 2020. So I will see y'all tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 17. Mm -hmm.